this is the fusion unit. Open three screws indicated in the red boxes. Then open the cover. You will see on the right hand side bottom of the fuser indicated with a red box. If you do not have the green cable here, which means your fuser unit is the, the initial version and you need the initial version, start version, the fuser reset kit, please click the left hand side bottom clickable link now to move to the, the start version fuser reset kit. In order to install the reset kit on the retail version, you need to remove the existing used gray color fusible link. Cut both side legs. And remove it. Now, take the future reset kit from the packaging and also take one of the fusible links Keep the leg straight and bend one side to another side, like this. Then put the two legs into the two holes on the future reset kit. Cut away the unnecessary part of the legs to prevent the short circuit inside of the fuser unit. Now you just need to open two screws only to connect our fuser reset kit. Only two screws here. Remove the screw. Connect the ring terminal and put it back together. Remove the screw. Connect the ring terminal and put it back together. If you need to reset the counter again in the future, you do not have to remove the future reset kit. Just open the cover and change the fuse like this way. Arrange the cable in the available space. Then close the cover to complete the insulation. It's done. So it's now your fuser unit will work for one more cycle with the reset fuse. I hope it helps. If you have any question, please email us on help at drumreset.com. Help at drumreset.com. Thank you very much. Bye.